My name is uh, Stuart Aronson. Uh, I'm working at Mount Sinai uh, School of Medicine. Uh, and I have been working in the area of cancer biology for uh, a good number of years. We've worked on a variety of pathways that are important can in cancer. Uh, and over the last two or three years, became interested in a pathway that uh, is now more and more being uh, studied in, in this disease, and that's a pathway called the HIPPO inhibitory pathway. It was first identified in the fly and has been studied uh, in mammalian cells uh, by a number of very good workers. Uh, and we decided to really investigate this pathway in, in, in cancer, first of all, because there was good evidence already that the pathway was inactivated. So this is an inhibitory pathway that in tumor cells uh, is lost. And what happens in response to that is that transcription factors, uh, a pair of transcription factors, one that binds DNA called TEAD or TEAD, and another uh, co-transcription factors called YAP, Y-A-P, or TAS, T-A-Z, interact to activate a variety of target genes that can contribute both to cell proliferation, uh, to cell motility, and in other reports, to cell survival, all of which are uh, important uh, in, in, in cells acquiring tumorigenic properties. In its normal uh, situation, this inhibitory pathway apparently is very important in what we call contact inhibition of cell division. That is, when cells come into contact, they get signals through this pathway to stop dividing. When the pathway is lost, that signal is also lost and cells continue to grow in a, in a rather simplistic uh, way of explaining things. Because of the fact that we like to explore uh, pathways that are still uh, uh, amenable to new discoveries, we decided to look for um, molecules that might be inhibitory to this upregulated transcription. Uh, and in a paper that's titled Angiomotin Stabilization by Tancrase Inhibitors Antagonizes Constitutive TED-Dependent Transcription and Proliferation of Human Tumor Cells with Hippo Pathway Core Component Mutations. That's a long title but it explains the work. And, and basically, through a screen of small molecules, we identified an inhibitor uh, of tank raises uh, called ZAV, XAV939, that had an ability to inhibit this upregulated transcription. The paper shows that uh, this was really specific to the effects of this inhibitor on this activated transcription, and that it has a profound effect in, in inhibiting the growth of tumor cells with lesions in hippopathway core components. Uh, and I hope that the paper really shows nicely that this, this is really the case. Uh, and the mechanism by which the ta tankrase inhibitor works is by uh, inhibiting the targeted degradation of a regulatory molecule in this pathway called angiomotin. Normally, tankrases uh, stimulate the degradation of some molecules, like this one called angiomotin, through targeting it for proteasome mediated degradation. By inhibition of the tank rays, the level of this protein goes up and the 
uh, inhibitory pathway is reconstituted uh, and therefore the transcription of this TED YAP type of transcription goes down. And that is enough to inhibit the growth in a specific manner of tumor cells that have lesions in this, uh, in this pathway with respect to these core pathway components. Uh, the work is important, we hope, in identifying a new kind of molecule uh, that is inhibitory to the pathway. Uh, another group has also reported similar findings with respect to the mechanism. Uh, and the data that we show indicates that uh, there can be not only sensitivity to the drug, but also resistance to it uh, based on uh, the inability of the tankrase inhibitor to uh, durably and, and at high level increase the level of angiomotin. So we have both mechanisms uh, by which to inhibit this cancer pathway, but also a means to use a biomarker, namely angiomotin protein level, to determine whether or not um, uh, the, the, the inhibitor is likely to be effective. Hopefully in some period of time, other inhibitors of this nature uh, or, or, or this inhibitor itself can be used to eventually target tumors that have disruption of this inhibitory pathway uh, and therefore have proliferation and growth due to um, this oncogenic pathway. The work of this nature can't be done by one person, but it's really the work, in fact, of particularly two members of our lab, uh, Albino Troilo and Erica Benson, both of whom contributed incredibly important findings uh, to this study uh, and were helped in that by work by Davide Esposito uh, in particular uh, and in the collaboration that we had with uh, Dr. Prem Reddy, uh, who had a, a small molecule library that we were able to use uh, in our screen for uh, Tancre, for, actually for hippo pathway deregulation inhibitors. And so with that, uh, I will close.